Did you know? Our human ancestors did not have blood types. Rather, due to the emergence of new dietary structures, people's digestive system and immune system will also change accordingly, and various blood types will change accordingly. The earliest blood type only appeared between 60,000 and 40,000 BC, and that was type O blood. Today, I will tell you about the mysteries of blood type one by one. From now on, listen to my story to the end, you will have a new understanding of our human blood types. In the 1880s, a doctor in North America gave a dying woman a blood transfusion, which brought her back to life. The medical community immediately became interested in blood and set off a medical craze for blood transfusion. However, most of the blood transfusion patients not only did not get better, but a large number of people died. Why can blood not only save people, but also kill people? People are full of respect and fear for blood, full of confusion. It was not until the beginning of the 20th century, after the scientific and systematic research on blood, that we gradually came to know the blood group system and had a scientific understanding of blood. For example, there are blood types O, A, B, and AB, etc., but little is known about the reasons for the formation of these blood types. The traditional idea is that a person's blood type is determined by genes and will not change unless a disease occurs. But scientists' latest research report puts forward a new view on the formation of human blood types. The report believes that the four blood types, O, A, B, and AB, that have been discovered so far are not fixed at the birth of humans, but gradually evolved as humans evolved and settled in different climate regions. Forming In the Cold Age, nomadic tribes had to adapt to the new food provided by the new terrain due to the lack of edible things on the grassland. Due to the emergence of new dietary structures, people's digestive system and immune system will also change, followed by changes in blood types. Type O blood has the longest history. It appeared between 60,000 and 40,000 BC, when Neanderthals ate simple meals, weeds, insects, and beasts that fell from trees ate the leftover fruit. The Krame people appeared 40,000 years ago, and they lived on hunting. They migrated from Africa to Europe and Asia after the large beasts became difficult to find. People with blood type O have a sense of reality, and can quickly, calmly, and accurately analyze and judge the gains and losses. They are more purposeful, and will take decisive measures after determining the goal, and will not give up until the goal is achieved. Type A blood appeared between 25,000 BC to 15,000 BC. At that time, our fruit-eating ancestors gradually became omnivorous. With the passage of time, farming became the main mode of production for people living in today's European lands, wild animals began to be domesticated, and people's diet structure changed accordingly. Today, the vast majority of people with type of blood live in Western Europe and Japan. People with blood type A are hot-tempered, aggressive, irritable when things happen, not good at restraint, like competition, aggressive, love to show their talents, and are always wary of others. In the theory of blood type personality, A and O blood are mostly an extrovert type of personality. Type B blood appeared between about 15,000 BC and the New Era. At that time, some people in East Africa were forced to migrate from the savannah to the cold and barren Himalayas. Climate change has become the main factor in the birth of type B blood. This blood type first appeared in the Mongols, and as they continued to migrate to the European continent, as a result, many Eastern Europeans today have this blood type. People with blood type B are very cautious in doing things, they are mature and stable, and they are very responsible people. Most of them have considerable practical ability, 
and they dare to realize their own ideas and thinking results in real life through specific practices. This is also the reason why many people with blood type B have self-employment. Among the four blood types in the human body, type AB was the last to appear. It appeared less than 1,000 years ago. It is the descendant of the mixed Indo-European people who carry blood type A and the Mongolians who carry blood type B. People with AB blood type inherit the ability to resist disease, and their immune system is more resistant to bacteria, but they are prone to malignant tumors. Because type AB blood is a mixed blood type, people with type AB blood can receive blood transfusions of any blood type, but the amount of blood transfusion should not be too large. It can only be used in emergency situations, such as on the battlefield, because the safety factor is not high. People with AB blood type are the most rational among the four blood types. With strong insight and analysis ability, he never expresses his emotions easily, and can make a calm judgment no matter how urgent the situation is. In addition, scientists estimate that a fifth blood type will appear soon. It is entirely possible that a new blood type, say C, will emerge. Only people with this new blood type can survive in an overpopulated world with few remaining natural resources and severe pollution. And the people with the original four blood types, that is to say, billions or even tens of billions of people will not be able to withstand this growing ecological disaster, and we will gradually disappear, while humans with blood type C will gradually appear. But not everyone agrees with this view. Controversy over this theory has primarily arisen with our closest living relatives, chimpanzees and gorillas. Chimpanzees, our closest relatives, are mostly type A blood, and gorillas are mostly type B blood. Type O blood was rare to almost non-existent in both populations. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings should have evolved from apes, then human beings should have A type and B type first, and then O type and AB type. But on the contrary, the earliest blood type of our humans was type O. This is yet another proof against the theory of evolution. Regarding the formation of blood types, our current knowledge is still relatively limited, but with the advancement of science and technology, we will become more and more aware of the mysteries of blood types. That's all for today, if you like our program, don't forget to subscribe, we will have more exciting content for you. See you next time.